welcome to the uh, guide of uh, British birds. Today, I'm going to do if you talk about some of the birds in this book. We'll start uh, with the. Let's see. I'm just going to find the bird, then we'll get started. So when I find the bird, soon we can start. Hmm. Excuse guys. Just need to find. Which bird should we start with today? Hmm. Right. Okay, so the bird we're going to start with is one of the largest species of pigeon. And that bird is a bit of a large pigeon. And uh, let me just find it. Warbler, willow warbler, chiff chaff. Black cap. Okay, the bird we're going to do today is the wood pigeon. Right. Wood pigeons, okay. Wood pigeons can swoop and soar thanks to their large wings. In fact, the flight feathers are spread out to increase surface area. Okay. The young or juvenile robins lack the characteristic colours of their parents. The dull plumage allows them to hide from predators. Swallow. Once is a cliff nest. Swallows defect the summer months in breeding to breeding. They can have two or three broods, each with up to six chicks. Swift. The swifts we see here in our skies have probably been hatched here but they spend over half the hour in Africa. Swifts rarely perch and usually only stop when they visit their nest. They rarely have more than three chicks. The chiff chaff. Chiff chaff is also known as the leaf Wobbler. Chiff chaffs look very similar to other wobblers, but they are a little smaller. They also bob their tails up and down. Uh -huh. The handsome green woodpecker lives in woodlands and parklands, and is Britain's largest woodpecker. Female green woodpeckers lay between five and seven eggs between May and July. The chicks hatch about three weeks later. Dunnock. The dunnock is also known as the hedge sparrow. And uh, the dunnock is found all over the British hands except for the most north, northernistic uh, Scotland Islands. And uh, thank you for watching this this video. I hope you see you again soon. Bye.